hello guys and welcome to my channel today i'm going to teach you how to make a pro program that can find the area and perimeter of a rectangle so we are going to begin after opening the microsoft visual basics express 2010 click on new project yeah then ensure windows form application is default then name then press ok but you can change the name if you want yeah, so it's gonna load and bring us to a Windows form. Yeah, here we are. So we're going to, I'm going to resize this. I'm going to adjust the, the line so it can fit all the controls. I'm going to select a label. Select label, label one. I'm going to need four labels. So label one, then label two, label three. And finally, label four. So I'm done with labels. I'm going to select text boxes, text box one, then text box two. Just select three text boxes. Yeah, so like that. I'm going to change the name. I'm going to call this one. I'm going to call it a program that finds the area and perimeter yeah so you just type on the text property on the properties window a program that finds the area and perimeter over yeah just finds the area and perimeter yeah it's gonna appear like that on the form so i'm going to adjust it so that all the words can fit so label two i'm going to call it length then label three it's going to be the width then label four is going to be the results yeah, just ensure you're typing on the text property. So I'm going to need buttons. I'm going to select two buttons here on the command control. Button one, then button two. Yeah, I'm going to name this on the text property perimeter. Then area. I'm going to resize them yeah you just drag those rectangle those small squares there then it's bigger then i'm going to change the name now so under the name property ensure it's on the name i'm going to call this text box len but it's not a must you change the name here yeah you can leave it as default then text box width then finally text box res yeah then the buttons to button pair for perimeter then button air area yeah but the labels you're not going to change the name they're just gonna remain like that so we're done so you double click on perimeter then it will bring you here to this code code window so type dime d i m x comma y comma z a string mm -hmm. enter then x is equals to decimal dot pass decimal dot pass into brackets text box length yeah the first text box that we have on our program text box len dot text comma globalization dot number cell dot number this last one then close the brackets then yeah if you're wondering where this text box len is coming from i'm going to show you yeah here so the name 
the name of this we changed the name of all these so yeah so the first one we named it textbooks learn but in case you did not change it you can just call it textbooks one but for our case it textbooks learn then the second one is textbooks read then finally textbooks res yeah i changed them so i can easily remember them so we continue y is equals to decimal dot pass into brackets text box with text box with dot text comma globalization dot number style dot number yeah these other words they're just the ones used to type there then z is equals to two yeah so perimeter is equals to two two into length plus width so two into the length was value of x in val into brackets x plus val into brackets y then you close the outer brackets too yeah so the last text box for displaying text box res we're going to call it here text box res here it is text box res dot text is equals to z this z over here z dot to string yeah so like that we are done we go to the area part we double click then we just gonna copy paste these lines of codes but you can type if you want yeah these codes are reusable so i'm going to change the sign here and i'm also gonna do away with the outer brackets so the area is always linked times with so which will be value x times value y so i'm going to remove the outer brackets and the, the two that was outside yeah so we are done so you can you can run the prog program so on this green arrow you just press it then it's gonna run you enter the first number i'm gonna use 25 then the width then you click on perimeter click on area yeah just like that then we are done yeah, thank you.